in my world, there was no friendship, there was no honesty, there was no love, there was no compassionate, there was no humbleness. And I went on this road for 35 years. I was so deep in there, I could not do my job without me being drunk on liquor. So it's COVID. I have not a lot of money left where I'm gonna go. And suddenly, okay, I said, I need to find a place to, to live. And on my phone, I found Southridge Shelter. And one day, this, this guy comes along, and he's uh, Dave Nelder. He says, uh, we need to talk. And he hands me a book, The Christian. And he says to me, when God is ready for you to read that book, you will read that book. And it was not easy, because I would read two pages, throw the book away. But when I threw the book away, there's something like attracting me to go back, go get back that book, keep on reading it. I wanted to believe, but I was still against my all saying that my father used, oh, Jesus says to punish you, Jesus says to hit you. To, there's this thing in my head, the truth is going to set you free. I didn't sleep all night last night because what was going on this morning? And it was coming to me, the truth is going to set you free. And I trusted him when I did my inventory, I accepted him. The third week of July in my life, I accepted God. God now is in my life before anything else. And after it's me, and after it's the rest. And I realize at this moment, all the way in my life, he was always there, just waiting for me to grab his hand. But he forgave me, and he loves me today. And today, he wants me to share his words that love peace, compassionate. And these are the rules of my life right now. September 11th happened and I uh, joined the Navy as a Naval Weapons Technician and did that for five years. After releasing, I found out that the uh, civvy world is, is a lot different and uh, got myself into trouble, made some bad decisions. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, suffer from depression and anxiety. One day, talked to God for the first time in many years. Uh, not in a good place. I, I basically said, if, if you're there, you need to do something because I'm, I'm at the end of my rope. I was in the shelter and I went to devotions with Chris uh, every day and, and uh, he got me thinking a lot about God and, uh, and which made me make the realization that, that, yeah, I did call out to him that day and that he did answer and uh, that if he's answering me, then maybe I'm not in this road alone. This is just my public declaration of, of that, that I am a Christian. And uh, for me, being a Christian means to give up on the path that I, I was walking alone and, and walk God's path that he's choosing for me. I was uh, baptized as a, as a child like at, when I was a baby, but that came from a uh, you know, like more of a family expectation than rather than a place of, you know, my own personal choice. I really didn't explore Christ in my life uh, up until, um, you know, I, I met my now wife, Heather. Um, you know, even even when we first met, I was still and, you know, I was adamant that I was an atheist. Heather was very accepting and understanding of that. That's what kind of, I guess, started that process towards introducing a life of Christ again. During that uh, Alpha course, there was a um, there was a passage that really made me uh, reflect on my life. And it was uh, Revelations uh, 3.20. And it went like, Behold, I, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. From that, I really reflected throughout my life and, you know, the the route that it had taken. And, you know, I, I looked at that and I saw a lot of um, events in my life that, you know, I, I, I strongly feel that it was Jesus knocking at the door and was, a, you know, leading me in the direction up until the point where I am now. The baptism will allow me to, you know, proclaim that, you know, I want a life of Christ and this is me opening the door to him to allow him into my life. Before we moved here to know anything about like 
the church here, I knew nothing. <laughs> my mom wanted us to come. I came. I think my dad came. I thought it was really welcoming and I loved it here. When I um, got a bit older, I figured out that I was bi. Um, so, and I know about like hate for the LGBTQ from other churches, so I was concerned and I stopped coming. And I kind of hated that a bit but I stopped coming because I was scared for my safety. I met him when I tried to OD the last time. I was, I think, alone in my, either my room or my hospital room, and I just started crying and I just said, I need somebody to just take my life because I'm about to give up, like I can't do this anymore. And I just said, God, if you're there, just take control. Like I can't, I can't do this. After a few days, I felt like hope came into my life, and it's why I'm here now. Baptism means to me because when I did try to take my life, I want to say thank you to him. It's my connection with him, and it's my way of thanking him, really, for letting me still be here and for saving me on top of all of helping with the world and everything of where everything is at, he chose to take his time out to save me. And I want to have a stronger bond and connection because of it. I was brought up in the United Church, um, taught Sunday school, went to, to church every Sunday, sat in the same spot. Uh, the church made a, a big change uh, where three churches amalgamated and they asked me what qualifications I had to be a Sunday school teacher, and um, I was removed from that. Um, so I kind of left the church and uh, lost a little bit of maybe my faith and my story, or if you want to call it my story. Um, that was cancer, bad relationship, got sued, lost my job. It was a Sunday morning and I was in a really, really dark spot. And I was driving and I was going by Southridge and my car literally turned into Southridge and I went, oh my God. And I grabbed the wheel and I pulled into the lot, went into Southridge, I sat, I sat in the very back corner um, and I sat there and I, I cried through the whole service. I went home after several weeks of navigating through this and I got on my knees and I surrendered. It's a new beginning for me. Out with the old and in with the new. It's just beginning. Just because I'm getting baptized doesn't mean my journey's ended with my Christianity. It's just going to move forward. And just, I, I'm so excited of where I'm going.